Now, singing wasn't your first career choice so far as training is concerned. You were in school to be a commercial artist. Right. I went to the uh, High School of Industrial Art, which is across the street to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And uh, while I'm still painting, I still love it very, very much. Did you have any idea when you were a little kid drawing sketchings on the sidewalk of Astoria, Queens, of your ability at that time? No, uh, all I know is that I had to do it, and I still feel that way. I'm very committed to it. Um, singing and painting, I can't drive a car. I don't know how to drive a car, okay? But, I, but my whole life I've just been possessed with singing and painting. It's something I have to do. It's, it has nothing to do with whether I'm going to make it or not make it or whatever. I just have to do it. And I'm, I'm, now I'm 65 and I'm still feeling the same way as I did when I was a kid uh, in Astoria sketching on the sidewalks. It seems that each year your paintings become to get more prominence with each showing. Uh, is it growing so far as a bigger part of your life with each year? Do you, do you find more joy in painting? Is it, is it an escape? It's not, it, well, it takes you to another place, and that, and that it's an escape, but uh, it's meditative, you know, it's very uh, complex because you get a blank canvas, and you have to fill it up, and there's no board meetings or anything, it's just you and the canvas, and it's quite frightening, you know, you just say, I hope this one works, but then, you know, you get, there's so many problems to making sure there's proper balance and color and everything that goes with it, or whether someone's going to like the painting later or you, whether you're going to like the painting. And um, so what happens is there's so many, that really takes you, you might paint for four hours and it feels like four minutes. You know, so it's, in that sense, it's a, a release. It's kind of a yoga experience. Do you have any particular favorites over the years? Of my own paintings? Yeah. I did a painting of uh, Duke Ellington in, in London. Uh, I call it Black Rain. And it was kind of a, a visionary kind of painting. It was way before any of the the riots and, and changes of uh, civil rights movements and all that, and it was way before that. And uh, there's this kind of streak of black rain. I just wouldn't sell the painting. It's my own personal painting. Cary Grant paid you a major compliment with, with one of your paintings. How did that feel to yeah, receive those kind of accolades again from another area? Yeah, that, well, he's the one that first kicked me off into uh, feeling very good about my painting. He, he bought a painting of this. I wondered why he did it, because it was, it, it took a year for us to negotiate it, because he was a friend of mine, and I said, I can't charge you for this, you know, we were very good buddies, and he's Cary Grant, you know, the handsomest man in the world, you know. <laughs> so uh, I said, I can't uh, sell this to you, but he insisted on it, he, and we had to negotiate with my son for a whole year as to how to do it. We finally gave the money to the Princess Grace Foundation, the Red Cross Foundation, but I found out why he did it. I was wondering, why did he do it? It was so nice of him. I thought he was just being very nice to me and supportive. But what it was is that I went to his widow's home uh, four years later and uh, after his death. And I, it was in his dining room, along with his whole house was filled up. He had a very good uh, eye for good paintings. So he had some wonderful Diego Rivera paintings and very wonderful paintings. And I saw my painting and I was knocked out to see it. I hadn't seen it for four or five years. And then I looked out in the window, a big picture window, over his valley where he lived in LA. And it looked exactly like the south of France. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was really, he really had a reason for buying it. And it was, it was uh, very gratifying for me. I really liked uh, that happening. You know, some of you might know that uh, I love to paint as much as I love to sing. And if I may, we put some of my paintings together with a song that I, I, I stole from a great Borodin melody <laughs> and, uh, and it became a big hit song. So uh, I'd love to show you some of my paintings. Take my hand I'm a stranger Paradise Lost in a wonderland A stranger in paradise If I stand starry-eyed That's a danger in paradise Who 
stand beside an angel like you I saw your face and I ascended Out of the commonplace Into the realm Somewhere in space I hang suspended Until I know There's a chance that you care Won't you answer this fervent prayer To the stranger in paradise Don't send me in dark despair From all that I hunger for But open your angel's arms To the stranger in paradise And tell him that he need be A stranger